Take a long hard look at that 4K monitor or TV you just bought and now throw it in the trash because it looks like the age of 8K is upon us. Now some of you will be quick to pencil dive into the comments and paste your college thesis you posted over on Reddit about how 8K is dumb because there's no content for it or it's too hard to run and for TVs, I actually agree with you right now, but for monitors, this isn't necessarily always true. Yes, it'll definitely be very hard to run games at max settings 8K native, but everything else you do on your PC will immediately benefit from the increased pixel count, and of course, you don't have to run your games at native 8K on an 8K monitor. You can always upscale from a lower resolution or just run 4K on it, and it'll still look like a snack since... From a reasonable viewing distance, 8K displays have no obviously visible pixels at any size. So, with that said, I do think 8K is the end game PC resolution, and it's very exciting to see, especially for professionals, that 8K OLED and Mini LED appears to be just over the crest of my cheeks, as according to a WCCF Tech article, which of course I'll have linked in the description, TCL appears to be getting ready to jump scare us all with 8K HDR monitors very soon, but there's also a ton more displays that they announced, all of them very exciting, but let's start off with what appears to be an 8K mini LED monitor. Now they say 2D, 3D on it as well, so I'm not entirely sure what is going on here, guys, but apparently it's a 27 inch 8K 2D slash 3D adjustable light zone monitor with eye tracking. Now I have heard of this 3D technology and it does require eye tracking to work. So this actually could be that and that'll be very, very interesting to see. I know 3D was something that we tried before. It didn't really work out, but honestly, this might be giving you a fat chubby because I've seen some of this stuff in marketing and I haven't seen it in person, but the marketing around it seems to suggest that you don't need any glasses or anything like that. And it can be used in a way where it's a plugin that can work with all games. So this could be a really, really immersive monitor especially if it's also mini LED as adjustable light zone seems to suggest, but there's also way more. We have a 31 inch 4K 120 Hertz OLED monitor with a dome shaped design, which is pretty crazy. And I do think that would actually be very, very immersive. I love to get my hands on it and do keep in mind that I think that these OLED monitors guys are gonna be using a regular RGB layout. So these could be the clearest OLED displays on the market as they should also be using a glossy display as well. This isn't confirmed, but when I looked at TCL's previous OLED monitors at CES, they were all glossy. So I do expect that will be the case. They're also RGB as well, if I remember correctly. And we do also have what appears to be their answer to Samsung's gargantuan 57 inch mini LED monitor as well. That 240 Hertz 57 inch Neo G9 here, they have one that I know it looks kind of goofy, but actually the stand down there should lead to less issues with the display. So I think that was actually a good choice to make the stand that way. You've seen these kind of specs before though. Essentially it's just two Neo G8 slammed together with far less issues regarding the scan lines. I only saw a tiny patch on mine when I reviewed it and I've heard basically nobody else complaining about it. So I think they've mostly solved that issue. Very good to see there. And hopefully that's not an issue on this monitor as well. But then we also have, yes, an 8K OLED monitor. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this day. Yeah, this is honestly really, really exciting stuff to see. And I'm about to lose my mind because if you've never seen a PC displaying 8K, it is truly a sight to behold. Is it as massive of a leap as 1080p to 4K was? No, but it does reach that point where you go from 4K to 8K and all of a sudden, all those jaggies just basically completely disappear and the image is just crystal, crystal clear. It's just that little bit of a step up over 4K and it's really actually useful for a lot of professionals as well. So really cool to see this. And at 120 Hertz, yeah, you could definitely use this for gaming. They're definitely gonna be using display stream compression. It'll be interesting to see if they've been able to get this to work with HDMI 2.1, or if you're gonna need the new DisplayPort 2.1 with DSC to make this work. I'd have to do the math to figure out for sure what is possible, though I do think you could do it over HDMI. And it does look like it's getting over 99% DCI-P3, even on low grayscale images, which is pretty impressive when it comes to color. So guys, yeah, this is looking really, really good. But here's the bad part, 65 inches. What? what are they thinking? That is an absurd size. Yes, it's curved and that curve will help with a monitor of that size, but 65 inches, I hate to say it, that is just too large. Look, I ran a 55 inch OLED for quite some time 
And if it wasn't a TV and it didn't have issues, I'd probably still be using it today, but 55 inches was very large, guys, and that is definitely the absolute limit I would ever be willing to even consider as an actual monitor. And I do feel more comfortable in that 32 to 42 inch range when it comes to size personally. But regardless, very interesting to see that we are actually getting 8K gaming HDR monitors hitting the market in not too long. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second, a bandwidth it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.